Hi friends, it's Counselor Clara. So today we're going to be talking about flower presses from your nature box. So some of you have the little one with the stamp. The ones who have the stamp should also have these four, are they washers? Yep. Four washers. Um, so what you want to first do is you're going to want to take everything out of it. So I've already done that. You can see my stuff, but you're going to just unscrew the little wing nuts. Might take you a hot minute, but that's fine. And you can take the washers off, but don't lose them. Keep them on the tape till you get where you want to go. You're going to pull this up and off. And then you're going to take out, you should have two cardboard octagons and you should have four pieces of paper. You'll also have a bookmark, but we'll get there. So the first thing you need to do when you're making flower presses is you need to find something to press. So your first goal is to go for a walk and find what you're going to press. So we're going to go do that. We're going to bring you all with us. Let's go. So you're going to be looking around. You're like, hmm, what do I want to press? I'm going to go. This looks pretty cool. What do you think? Pretty neat? Yeah. Yeah, so you can press as many things. I'm going to go down here safely. You can press as many things as you can fit into your little octagon. So I saw something really cool I want to press down here. Oh, look. Got an actual flower. Can you see the flower? I'm going to pick it. I'm pro flower, so we're gonna press this bad boy. That's a daisy? No. I think so. Is it? Yeah, it's like a little daisy weed. Hmm. Um, it's a cutie. I wanna press one more thing. What else do we wanna press? How about a clover? All right, I've got my clover, my daisy, and my tree branch, and we're gonna go back and press. <laughs> so, while we were talking, we were talking about flower pressing. So you're gonna take your cardboard, your first cardboard, you're gonna put it down, in between the four screws that are standing up, all right? Then you're going to place one of your cardstock and pieces of paper down. Now this is your canvas, so I do teach photography. You can place this wherever you want. This is a little big, so we're going to have to figure that out. But the first thing I want to do is place my little daisy. I'm going to try and get it flat. We'll see how this goes. It's kind of flat. I've got a clover here. And this is where you take your creativity. You can put it wherever you want, do whatever you want with it. Boom, I'm good with that. So once you're content with your placement of your little plant life, remember, we're going to be taking plant life that's not harmful to us. Take your other piece of cardstock, you're gently placing it over and you're gonna try and like, keep it where you want. Like I have to watch the daisy. Second piece of cardboard, I'm gonna make a sandwich. Now if you have another piece of cardboard, if you make one, you can place another sheet of paper, more things, another sheet of paper and cardboard over top of that to make like a triple decker sandwich, but I've only got two pieces of cardboard, and I believe everyone else does too. Then you're going to take your handy dandy top <laughs> with your fancy brand, or some of you don't have it, but that's okay, you can make your own. And you're going to place it over the thing, you're going to take your little washers and place them over the screws. If you don't have washers, that's perfectly fine. It's just going to dent the wood a little bit and that's that's also okay because it's not going to make it any less usable. So you put your washers over your four screws. Now this is the important part. You're going to put your wing nut on the top and once you screw that down a little bit, you're not going to go all the way tight yet. You want to screw the opposite. Can you see this? So I screwed up here, and then I'm going to go to the opposite corner, and I'm going to have to screw. I might have to push down a little, and it's okay if it makes some popping noises, as long as it doesn't break. That's the goal. And then I can put my washers on. This is why I worry. Is there a zoom in button? Uh, you can use that and just turn it. Oh. Yeah. I'm learning too, guys. <laughs> All right, so now here comes the fun part. You're gonna tighten this as tight as you can get it. All right, you're gonna tighten them all pretty much as much as you can go. Some of you may have to hold the bottom of the screws to keep them from spinning. So you just hold the bottom like that, and then you spin. All right? And then, once you get them as tight as you can possibly make them, 
Once you get them as tight as you can get them, you're going to put this on your shelf like this on display so that you can watch the camp logo and you're going to leave it for a few days. So I've got this bad boy who's been sitting here for a few days. It says on your directions a week or more. That would be ideal. Some of us can't wait a week, but that's okay. Try to wait a week. And you're just going to unscrew your little wing nuts, take them off. And notice I've got the washer. He's kind of embedded in the wood now. That's fine. You're going to open them up. If I can get it. Ah, we've gone. All right. And you're going to go ahead and lift it up gently. You might want to take the washers off so you don't lose them. I'm going to lift. That's so fun. All right. And then, as you remember, we put our pressed things in between two pieces of paper. There's my pressed things. There's some flowers in here. All right. You're not going to pick them up yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your shipping tape that we sent you. Uh, I'm going to use masking tape because I don't want to use up any of the shipping tape. Oh, that's fine. And you're going to take your tape and you're going to, well, pick up the thing you want to pick up. So you're going to take your tape and you're going to press down on the flower you're trying to pick up. There, it's on the tape. You're going to go over to your bookmark or whatever you want to put it on. You can put it on some matte paper and frame it. You can do just about anything you want, but I'm going to use the bookmark. And you're just going to place. And if your hands aren't as dirty as mine and you have the scotch tape, it'll be clear and all you see is the flower. And you can do that with as many of yours as you want. If any of them come out weird, that's okay. Just try again. I have a bookmark that I can use all over the place. Yeah. So if you have any questions about flower pressing, please reach out to us. Um, yeah, I'll see you all later.